Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Volkswagen or Audi with a TSI engine. Uh, that will work actually on Skoda and Seat as well. If you have one of those, you have check engine light on and any of the following two codes I'm talking about, code P0456 or code uh, 011. Uh, uh, one zero guys stay with us we'll explain what causes that if you use a regular scanner you get code p0456 which will indicate small evap leak if you use a specific vac scanner for volkswagen audi search code guys you get a code 01110 uh, so uh, before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to take them completely apart and make at least two to three hundred free repair videos and teach you how to fix pretty much anything why well, we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos and if you need to buy guys any parts tools anything for a really good price and save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here you can see guys this is a volkswagen t1 but that's a tsi engine doesn't matter if you have a, a tsi or non-tsi as long as you have gasoline engine and you have these codes we'll explain how to fix it uh, on uh, on uh, diesel engines you will not get these codes due to the fact that you don't have the evap system and what is the evap system when you guys have gasoline engine you have gasoline in the fuel tank but gasoline when you turn when you drive the car when uh, it's hot outside it expands it creates fumes it creates pressure back in the day these fumes used to be released in the atmosphere now you have a closed system and when you reach certain pressure in the fuel tank okay those fumes will be sent through the line here to the purge control valve purge valve will activate and it will inject the fuel vapors in the intake manifold burn through the cylinders and give you more uh, efficient engine and you're not uh, releasing the fuel vapors in the atmosphere so it's a win-win situation if you have any of these codes okay we'll have a detailed video how to fix an evap leak but inspect guys for um, uh, cracked hoses anywhere okay loose holes cracked hoses right here as well or leaking purge valve we have a special video that explains how to test purge valve check it out it will teach you how to do that but the number one thing that i will check will be right here the fuel cap why because the fuel cap consists of two components and if you see right here it says tighten the fuel cap correctly or the engine light will turn on practically and if you look guys if your evap system quits working and injects those fuel vapors in the engine you have that valve right here that will if you build certain pressure in the fuel tank will release the uh, pressure in the atmosphere that way you're not uh, building pressure and explode practically uh, uh, because fuel tank under pressure under too much pressure is not good but if that valve is stuck open you may get this code something else to look for this is the most common thing that you will see cracked fuel seal right here that cracked fuel seal will allow fuel vapors to sneak out and as a result you will get that code now this car has only 43,000 miles it's a 2014 models we don't uh, model we don't drive it so much but uh, using the gasoline with the ethanol i know this sometimes will dry those faster and they will crack faster so in our case replacing that fuel cap will fix the problem and uh, we bought a new cap right here okay if you want to see how to replace it we'll have the video okay uh, this is it if you want to buy one for a good price and quick shipping i will put the link in the description of the video below hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time